The Amazing Spider-Man 3 should see Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man be brought into a universe where Emma Stone is Spider-Gwen. We open on Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man being teleported back home after the events of No Way Home. But as we all know from Morbius, Doctor Strange's spell didn't work perfectly. Some characters like the MCU's Vulture were teleported into a different dimension. So after a few comedic hiccups, plus finding out that Aunt May is the opposite of alive, Peter realizes this isn't his world. He starts looking for this universe's Doctor Strange to fix the problem, but can only find a doctor whose last name is Strange and a stage magician who goes by Doctor Strange. Neither of which have mystical powers. Hours. It looks like Peter is stuck in this world. Suddenly, as Peter is leaving this Doctor Strange, he sees Scorpion attacking the city. While this may not be his universe, Peter still has to uphold great power and great responsibility, or whatever really wordy version his Uncle Ben told him. So Peter tries to stop Scorpion, only to be interrupted by Spider Gwen. The two team up to defeat the villain before swinging off together, trying to make Spidey sense of this all. Peter explains this situation before removing his mask, because this isn't his world, so he has no one to hide from. But as he does, Gwen says, Peter? How did you know that? Only to be interrupted by Gwen removing her mask to reveal Emma Stone's face. It's an emotional moment as the pair have a shared connection of their versions of each other no longer being alive. Gonna cry? They spend a period of time getting to know these versions of each other, finding crime together as if it's a romantic comedy. The two have been shown upside down kissy kiss but they're both upside down. Meanwhile, Miguel O'Hara from the Spider Society has been cleaning up the messes created from the events of No Way Home, sending home other variants of characters who were teleported to the wrong dimension. He intercepts Peter and Gwen, who swing away, before trying to make Peter feel guilty that there will be no Spider variant in his universe to save people from threats if he doesn't return home. But these two have some of the most tragic lives, with many of the people close to them being gone. They just want some happiness for a change. They also disagree with the idea that Miguel is someone who determines the outcome for every spider variant. However, Miguel's philosophy is set, leading to a battle between the spider variants. Peter and Gwen are successful in their goal of taking Miguel's interdimensional travel watch, threatening to destroy the device so no one can go back to their original world if they're not allowed to be together. Defeated, Miguel agrees. They give the watch back, only for Miguel to grab Peter and teleport him back to his home world. Peter is devastated, but he doesn't have time to process what's happened as he's put right into the middle of a fight against the Scorpion. Unable to focus, Peter gets knocked out. He wakes to Gwen's voice calling his name, where it's revealed that the two of them, plus many other characters, have been sucked into the multiverse and are now on Battleworld. The story continues in Avengers Secret Wars. Anyway, let me know what time you want me to come in Sony Marvel so we can discuss this further. What's your favorite Spider-Man movie?